Also, another way that you motivate me is that you are the first one that come to apologize to me. <laughs> Namaskar, beautiful Hakka family. Welcome back to another video. We were swamped what we were gonna do last week. What best way to actually decide then let our subscribers decide. So we did a poll. Majority of you guys wanted to actually see top five things we love about each other. And we made our list separately. So we didn't see each other's list. She may have picked them on my list. And before we start our video, make sure if you join this video, hit a like. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And also turn on the bell notification so you never miss our next video. We upload two new videos every week. And guys, 85% of you guys that are watching aren't subscribed. So please help us actually reach another milestone. Our next target is 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. And also make sure you follow our Instagram and our Facebook pages. We always update how our daily lives and some of the peak of our new videos there also as well. Thank you guys again for all of your love and support you guys have been showing us. Let's do it. My first one is appearance. Mm -hmm. That he always dress up. He looks so damn good in all different kinds of suits. And he takes care of his face, face and body really well. A lot of people say, you know, physical appearance are not the number one. But for me, it's definitely on top five because it's kind of like the foundation of a relationship because you have to take care of yourself first before you are able to take care of others. So basically you say when you dress up, you spice things up in your relationship. Yeah. What's your number one on the list? Say my number one point is definitely that you're quite caring actually. And this is something I've noticed when we initially started dating. Okay. When I had my little accident here, mm -hmm. I noticed that like the amount of effort she will take to take care of you know the person she loves mm -hmm. it's something i really love about you and you're not only caring for me but your family my family and yeah. everybody who you actually care about yeah. and that is one of my go-to reasons why i actually love you so much point number two it's your okay. point so my second point is your caring also Okay. So, but your way of caring is different from my way of caring. So your ways of caring are actually pretty subtle. So it shows like in small details and sometimes you won't say it, but you will do it. Or well, sometimes you say that you won't do it, but you'll do it. <laughs> and also you are really caring for animals and pets mm -hmm. and sometimes the way he cares for our pets makes me really worry that he's going to spoil the heck out of our future kids and I say like it's gonna be a problem you're gonna know how to discipline them <laughs> okay so point number two I know for a fact that she always has my back she will always be there for me mm -hmm. and this is one thing that I definitely love about you quite a bit is because I was going through a very tough time when we met actually i was working on myself working on my mental health but i noticed that there was a time when i actually cried my eyes out to her and that's when i realized that you know she just held me so tight and she never let me go mm -hmm. and that's basically when i realized that this girl is checking all the boxes that i had for my future wife and my third point is that he is humorous okay <laughs> i didn't expect that the humorous is in his own way and i love that he only shows that side to me and his families so which makes <laughs> me feel like really really precious because i know for a fact that he only shows that side because he feels really secure with us with me and he feels really safe and he's happy and that's why he's showing me that side cute side of him <laughs> So, <laughs> so the funny thing is, if if you guys meet me for the first time, basically, with the beard, and I'm everything. very serious. But when he's with me, I love how he he's really put down all of the fences that he put for the outside world, and he just put his whole self with me, cheer each other up. Point number three, as you know, mm -hmm. this girl sitting next to me is beautiful. I know a lot of our subscribers, <laughs> you know, keep saying that. And for me, I expect my girlfriend slash my future wife to be somebody who's beautiful, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. 
I see that side of you all the time and I think that's for me is definitely something that I care about she'll dress up when we have special occasions she mm -hmm. will put the effort and she's not putting the effort to show me but she's putting the effort for herself and that is something I really love my number four is that he is he is really really determined and he knows what he wants and also the most important part is I know for a fact that he will always be there for me he'll always support me and he will always get me back on track when I overthink or or when I'm too emotional like whenever I feel like I'm not in the right mindset and he's I know that he's always there for me and I know that he's always there to support me and to talk to me out of it and and I really appreciate that and I really love him for that because because he's willing to put a lot and a lot and a lot of efforts into supporting me really really nice point number four for me is that she's not afraid to stand up to the world she reads a lot of books on how to make herself a better person and one thing I've noticed about her in my experience is that she is not afraid to stand up she will literally give people shit if they're being too rude, they're being too annoying. She's not afraid to stand up to people and that is something that I see her as a leader. Because she works as a kindergarten teacher, she makes sure that, you know, kids are being disciplined. She'll make sure that our pets are being disciplined. I think that's really important because we both aim for to be a better person. And that is one thing she's taught me too. But I compare myself to a lot of people and... No. And whenever he's trying to do that, I always remind him, I said, don't compare, like, your biggest enemy is yourself. Compare your past self to today's self. That's it. That's that's all you got to do. And she's not afraid to tell me the truth or even hurt my feelings if it's the truth, right? Like, if there's something that I'm doing wrong that I you should just, definitely work on, she yeah. will tell me to my face. Yeah, same for him as well. So my last point is that, well, I guess I kind of... I kind of mentioned this, yeah. that you are one of the biggest motivators in my life. You motivate me when I'm down. And also another way that you motivates me, it's that you are the first one that come to apologize to me <laughs> and come to me and try to make the situation better for us, which I think that's really important as well, because because I think in, in a relationship, it's it's good to have somebody that's willing to step up in certain situations. I think that's one of your sh shiny because not everybody is willing to take that step because it takes a lot of love and courage and caring to apologize to your loved ones. <laughs> one number five for me, definitely her love and her emotions. Mm. She yeah. is emotional, mm. just Very. like me, quite emotional. And when I say that, I literally mean that when something happens in a TV show, she will cry her eyes out. <laughs> many, many times. And even if she's watched the TV show before and she does it, she watches it again, yeah. she will cry her eyes out. At the same things, over and over again. It's like a cue for me. Now, me on the other hand, I bury my feelings inside. I guess that's also part of the reasons why we are constantly strengthening our relationship it's because he is not a very expressive person so i always always encourage him to you know express more of his emotions with me and i always tell him that it's okay and i always try to show my emotions to him maybe sometimes a little bit too much and a little bit of unnecessarily that <laughs> you would like <laughs> <laughs> when when I say you're emotional, you're quite emotional. I would say when the, you met my parents for the first time, mm -hmm. I could see that happiness in your eyes. I could actually see that emotion. <laughs> but I really find it very funny when she cries when something bad happens in the TV show, yeah, and she or, will cry for a while. <laughs> or, or like get, or getting grumpy over something that's really tiny. But these emotions carry on yeah. in our everyday lives, and when certain things like these happen. I can see how happy she is and it helps me understand whether she's happy or not. But yeah, here are top 5 things actually that we love about each other. It actually took me some time to think about it. And the beauty about this video is the fact that we don't really think about these things when we are going by every single day. This actually helps us, you know, yeah. realize the fact that how much we love each other and what are the things that we love about each other. So. One challenge for you guys, for us subscribers. And in this time of madness, I guess 
even just noting down five things that you love about each other, yeah. including your family, friends, or even yourself. Yeah, just write it down on a piece of paper and see how it makes you feel. Cause mm -hmm. I promise you for a fact that this is gonna make you feel better. Feeling more positivity coming out. If you've done it, and let us know down in the comment below of how you guys feel. Yeah. And how did it turn out? Definitely let us know guys in the comment section. We want to interact with you guys as much as possible. Yeah. If you're too shy to actually let anybody know, just write it for yourself. And then we'll have a poll for our next reaction video, um, either today or tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned and make your vote. Yeah. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Bye.